Hi guys, Marian from electroschematics.com. This is my uh, PCB laminator. Actually, it's a usual one, but I modify it to allow uh, the transfer of the toner from the paper to the PCB. I had to open it up and uh, replace the thermostat. You can see it over there. I had to replace it. This was the original one. It was a 110 uh, degrees Celsius one. But uh, was not enough. The temperature is, was not reach, reaching 150 degrees Celsius. So I changed it uh, with uh, a 200 uh, degrees Celsius type. It's already connected inside the laminator. And now I am pretty satisfied with the result. The PCB reaches a, a very high temperature and that allows the toner to be transferred from this special paper to the PCB. Let me show you. As you can see the laminator uh, is pulling the PCB. Let me measure the temperature. Fifty fifty one Celsius. So uh, it's hot right now. Now I insert it again and uh, it's quite hot actually <laughs> so you must repeat this operation a few times usually when the, the laminator is ready you have to repeat at least five times to be sure that the toner was transferred properly to the PCB okay now once again let's measure the temperature again as you can see it takes a while sixty eight seventy eighty it's almost ninety degrees inside the laminator probably even more now it's quite enough it's quite uh, hot let me insert it uh, quickly <laughs> and uh, we repeat this a few times and uh, then I will check if the toner was transferred properly to the PCB Okay. Actually, I think the the toner has already transferred. I'm not sure if it's 100% uh, uh, transferred to the PCB, but uh, I can see the traces over there. So probably it's already transferred. But let me insert it one more time. And then I will try to remove the paper to check if the toner was transferred. So I kind of I kind of like it this uh, like this uh, laminator. Yes, I think it's okay now. just to let it cool it cool a little bit okay it's okay now 
let me remove the paper and see if the toner was transferred yes the toner was transferred and uh, I think it's pretty okay 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 as you can see the PCB laminator is working properly even though the ready LED turned on uh, right now right about now but it's kind of late <laughs> Yeah, yes, the plastic is getting uh, pretty hot. I hope it won't melt, but uh, I like the end result. It's pretty fine. All that I have to do now is cut the PCB and then uh, etch it. Okay. So one advice for me, buy one forget the iron tra transfer method it's not good this one is much better I think you can see here is uh, my disassembled laminator I bought one from eBay for 25 US dollars the model is Atalus 400 it's a small one and I had to disassemble it because uh, the temperature was not reaching uh, the specified 150 degrees Celsius that is necessary to transfer the the toner from the from this uh, sheet of paper to the PCB the, as you can see I already made uh, one it's working, I had, I had to test it before uh, record this video so now I will try to uh, make the same thing again to show you how uh, it's working so as I said, you, as I said to you uh, I had to change the thermostat inside the, the original thermostat the previous model was this one, KSD301. It was a 110 uh, degrees Celsius thermostat. This one uh, disconnects uh, the power. Disconnects the power when the metal plate's uh, temperature reaches 110 degrees. I had to change it uh, with uh, another one. This one is a 200 degrees Celsius type. When the plates are reaching 200 degrees, this one, the thermostat will disconnect uh, the power from uh, the wire around the resistor that's inside here. And then uh, when uh, the temperature goes down uh, until it reaches 160, then the thermostat uh, allows the current to go again through the resistance and the cycle repeats again and again okay so I'm back with the PCB let me insert it I want to assemble the laminator again because uh, I want to show you how it's working right now and by the way I made a small uh, adjustment to the output plates because the the distance uh, was not enough to allow the PCB to go through so I placed uh, these two pieces from a toothbrush actually not a toothbrush from a toothpick and uh, I placed them over there as a little spacers so it's quite uh, interesting okay so now I will insert the PCB I want to assemble the laminator because I want to show you the temperature inside of it and uh, 
how it's uh, working. I will place the PCB inside the laminator. Okay, let me take the temperatures. This is the temperature on the thermostat. The PCP is going out right now. Sixty eight seventy Celsius degrees. I bring I think it's pretty hot to touch it. Yes it is. And now I will insert it again and I will repeat this operation over and over again and until uh, the toner is transferred from the paper to the PCB. Let me show you how the PCB is coming out. The motor is, is spinning uh, slowly and uh, I think uh, there is already some toner transferred to the PCB. Ouch! <laughs> it's pretty hot. Let me measure the temperature again. It's kind. It's uh, a little hard to read the temperature of the thermostat. So we continue to insert the, P the PCB in the laminator. Seventy-five. Okay. So it goes again. Now uh, I will look to see if the, P if the toner is transferred to the PCB and surprise surprise look it's already transferred quite nice okay I will insert it one more time just to be sure and uh, the result is pretty good I think it's quite good you can now uh, if you have a laminator or you find one on the internet buy the cheapest one because uh, it's very easy to change some electronic components inside of it. I only had to change this thermostat so it was quite easy. The speed of the motor is, is uh, also quite important. You, you need to buy one which is uh, slowly uh, pulling the PCB. You don't want to buy one which is fast because it won't have uh, enough time to transfer the heat from the plates f to the PCB. And uh, one more time and okay, that's all. Then uh, afterwards we will see the final result. Okay. So here is the final result. I should have uh, let it uh, more inside the laminator. Some toner didn't transfer to the PCB. But uh, as you can see the result is pretty good. Actually it's good. <laughs> I'm satisfied with the result. It's much convenient uh, 
to use a laminator instead of the iron.